In this episode of Pro Tools Tips, brought to you by Lilac Writer, we're going to really focus on these different edit modes, and I'm going to do it in the context of analyzing a, a hit song. And I'm going to show you how quickly we can beat match this. We want to we don't want to conform the audio to a specific tempo. You'd use Ableton Live for something like that, but in Pro Tools, we can very easily conform the bars and beats to the original tracks. All right, so the first thing we've got to do is trim this to a um, perfect intro. I have tab to transient, I'm gonna turn that on. We'll tab to the beginning transient. I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut A to cut the beginning of it off. And now I'm in grid mode, and grid mode works along with the setting here, the grid setting, which I have to one bar, but you could set this to other divisions of a bar, like a quarter note. But for this, one bar is perfect. And if I just push it back a little bit, it'll snap to the downbeat of the zero bar. I'm going to go to slip mode, which allows me to edit independently. So I rewind the beginning. I'm just going to count out the first measure and find out where the beginning of measure two should be. One, two, three, four, two. All right, so right here, um, I'm going to tab to transient. I'm going to hit Command I, and I'm going to say that's bar two. Now immediately we know that this song is 131.9767, and I'm just going to rewind again and override that to 132 because um, a dance beat song like this probably has a fixed tempo. Now I'm going to scroll way out later in the song and see if that holds up. These look good. Still looks good. Not sure what's happening here. Let's turn the click on and just uh, listen. Change your mind like a girl changes clothes. Cause you're hot and you're cold. You're yes and you're no. You're in and you're out. You're That's it. No problem at all. Let's just do a little analysis while we're at it. Right at the end of the song. We can easily use Pro Tools as a ruler. And I have tab to transient. I'm going to turn that off. And if I tab to the end of region, and we can not we can see the number of bars is 121. But if we flip the display to minutes and seconds, we get an exact readout, 3 minutes and 38 seconds long. So the next thing I'm going to do is use some of the edit modes just to demonstrate a few Pro Tools concepts. And I'm just going to go right here at bar 3 and hit B to break that. All right, so I've separated this into some different uh, regions. So in this case, I've used grid mode. Um, I'm gonna use, continue to use grid mode. I'm gonna copy the track with a right click, duplicate. I'm gonna not copy the playlist. The playlists are all the audio regions that are on there. And now I've got another track. And now I've got the freedom just to pull pieces of this, um, of this out to another track. We'll go here, separate it. They are no good for me, cause you're hot. Now you can see that the um, chorus is about to start on 10. So it's a, uh, just a little easier to see this sometimes if you just uh, flip it between tracks, which you can do without losing any of your um, precision, provided that you're in grid mode, cause grid mode, this will snap along to the timeline, the regions will snap in their position as you drag them to the setting that you have up here. So that's how grid mode works. Um, shuffle mode, as you're moving things around, actually will uh, take the space completely out. So now I'm going to take the beginning, the beginning intro, 
I'm just going to move it later in the song. And you can see it just it just shuffles everything around. So, so I've rearranged it. Say I don't like that. I'm going to see what happens if the intro comes right after. Yeah. Say I remove a piece, everything just pops right in. Now shuffle mode is ideal if you're editing voiceover. That by creating a track, um, new a new mono audio track, create, uh, uh, go, go to record, record. Here, here I am. There's my uh, record. Let's hit record and record this. All right, well, I'm recording a voiceover, and um, yeah, um, what was I going to say? And this track really rocks, so that's what I was going to show you. There you go. So if I was going to use basic tools, I'm going to leave it in shuffle mode. We'll push this back. All right, well, I'm recording a voiceover, and... Uh, okay, so, and, uh, we don't want that. Delete. Yeah. Um, what was it going to say? None of that. We don't want the, um any of that sound bam and gone. this track really rocks so okay so we have all right well i'm recording a voiceover and this track really rocks so that's what i was going to show you there you go all right well i'm recording a voiceover and this track really rocks so there you go see much better that's really one of the main reasons that you would use shuffle mode. I just showed you a little bit about how you might use it. Once in a while, I find a good use for it in uh, music editing, and I've pointed those out in some of the other videos. Slip mode and grid mode are essential in uh, pretty much any music editing because slip mode allows you to move things to adjust timing anywhere that you'd like. And grid mode is great for rearranging things, especially if you put it on a, a, a bar setting, you can quickly th uh, move basically measures of your songs or your beats around. Now, spot mode, what it does is it will move something to a specific location. If I go into spot mode and hit one of these with the grabber tool, this dialog pops up and says, where do you want to move it to? Right now, the start point's 22. I can just overwrite that to 25. So say if I wanted to move this piece to measure 17, I just click it with the grabber tool. So I'm clicking in the lower half and I move it. If I click in the upper half, I still have, I can still select it. But as soon as I go to move it, then it asks me where. Now this is spotting is um, an essential tool if you're doing audio for video because you often want to put a sound effect or dialogue right at a specific time cue location. Now there's one more detail in grid mode to talk about. So with this song, there's a pickup. The phrasing the same. So if we really wanted to do this phrase correctly, we can hit B here and you can see that this phrase does not line up to perfect measure boundary. But that's the phrase. It's It falls right in here, and this is really common. So if I wanted to move this around, grid mode will do this. See, it jumps to the bar, now it will be off. So that's why there's relative grid mode. Relative grid mode will move you by bar increments, but it will keep the position of the beats consistent as you drag them. If you're working on modern pop songs, you'll run into this all the time. And that's it. Pro Tools Tips brought to you by Lilac Writer.